Hi everyone, I was just going to ask the question on how to work around the lack of support for the hyperlink column in Nintex new responsive forms for Office 365. Now, if you're not familiar, Nintex, uh, sorry, Office 365 has a column called the hyperlink column. So if you come to this item here, you'll see that you can put in a hyperlink, which is the URL and the display text. And when you press save, it actually combines it into one label that is a link. Now, it's a complex sort of an overloaded piece of data. It uses two pieces of data. And then when it's in the presentation layer here, it actually combines the two. So how would you how would you work around this? Now, it depends if you wanted to show a link in um, new mode or uh, view mode or edit mode. And we'll look at both right now. So we've got an example here. We've got a title and I am going to delete this one. Uh, edit. Delete. We don't need the hyperlink column. And what I'll do is just create a single line of text. So I'm just going to call this URL. So um, just a single line of text for, for where you store your URL. And so we'll edit this item and we'll just call this new text website and put the URL. Okay, so we've got those two pieces of data. So once we come to Nintex Forms, we want to use those two pieces of data and combine them together. So clicking on New Responsive Designer. And we don't need the person column. We don't need the status column. So now we've got title and URL. So similar to what we saw in the hyperlink column. Next thing you want to do is put a label on here. And then if you click inside the rich text editor, you'll notice there's a link button. And the first thing is you want to put your URL in here. So we want to go to either... We can use the form controls, which means if we use form controls, it's going to dynamically create a link uh, as we build it. Or if you wanted to do something uh, for only um, after you've collected that data or maybe some other event, we can look at that later. So that's around using SharePoint columns. Right now we use form controls. So we put the URL in and the text is the, it could be the title or it could be whatever other piece of data you want to do. Press okay. And now that's going to build a link for us. So if we come to preview, we'll put in Nintex website. And when I click away, it's creating a URL for me. Now it doesn't have a URL yet. So you can see down the bottom, it's going to point to um, the, um, new responsive designer. So then we could put in HTTPS, www.nintex.com. And now when you click away from that field, it's going to uh, make a link for us dynamically. So that's one way you could do it. Now, um, another way is it could read the data from the columns in SharePoint if you wanted to. So if you're, if you're not, if, if it's not user entered in the form, so if you're not collecting the URL from the user, it might be generated from a workflow or it could be um, another system, whatever it might be, then you may want to use uh, a different process. So we'll come back to the designer and go to the label. I'll remove this link. Sorry, let's go link and then URL insert. Now, as I said before, if it's not user entered in the controls, it could be in the SharePoint columns, then you could actually just access the URL there and go to the title and get the um, SharePoint columns and insert the title. Now, the challenge with this is if you're in new mode, the, the data doesn't exist yet. So I think if you go website and then you put your URL in. Right, there we go. So the, the data doesn't exist in the list item yet because, or in the, the SharePoint columns, because the data doesn't exist because you haven't created an item yet. So it depends on how and when you want to build your URL, but this, they're the two different modes you could do. So either you're collecting the URL from the user or um, you're, you're getting the URL from a different system and you only want to share that URL in view mode or um, perhaps in edit mode from the data that's been previously entered into the SharePoint list. So that's how I'd work around it, but just keep those two modes in mind. So I hope you find that useful. So let me know in the comments. Cheers.